Remember that last car we did for the short to ground test and we hooked up our short circuit tester and then we smelled something burning in the car and it never blew the fuse again? <laughs> yeah. I don't know that we'll, don't know that we'll ever produce that. <laughs> yeah, so it's just one that we could never duplicate after that. Call it fixed. <laughs> Insert <clears throat> <laughs> Insert tool Fixed job That didn't make sense no. <laughs> Fixed job Fixed problem <laughs> Let's go see what Danner needs <laughs> What's up? <laughs> what are you doing? Where, where can we put that? Oh, we can't no, I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna get changed soon But I didn't have any shirts until my uniform guy came in Because I lost two. You put it up here Put it to the bottom of your <laughs> <laughs> Just give me the keys for the Mitsu. You already told me what's up with it. Oh, yeah. See, that's pulling my hair out now. <laughs> it's backwards. It's, it is backwards. It's muffled now. It's just going to bounce. Yeah. It's going to flip it. I'll, 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 be, <laughs> I'll be good here in 10 minutes. You don't man. have to have it. We can take it back. Light throttle misfire. But then like, it's like a complete misfire when it does it. You have to feel it. Like when I first felt it, I thought it was like a torque converter shutter. Okay. You know what I mean? But then I was able to, you know what I mean? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> um, it's, we're in his head now. Yeah. That's what happens. It's bad. Somebody it's says, bad. It's bad. <laughs> you know like that? I, I realize I say it a whole <laughs> ton of times. <laughs> but uh, it's ruining our drinking game. Yeah. But no, you ruined your own drinking game. I'll come up with a new one. That's what happens. Uh, yeah. yeah, you just verbal it's like crutches. A vice. It's yeah, a vice. I'll find another one. Yeah, for sure. Like y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, Mitsu. But yeah. I thought I felt it in different gears too. Like at first, I got up to I went on 88 and I got up to like 35, 40 miles an hour. And it didn't do it immediately. Okay. And then it it's started a, doing it. It's but a misfire. It's misfire a, code. I feel, well, that's what I had. I cleared that one. Okay. But there's no at least with the the software I have there was no misfire monitor to see but I was able to go into mode six yeah and there's nothing showing up mm. but if like you were you put a thought in my head what if it's a couple cylinders mm -hmm. maybe it just can't pick them yet yeah. you yeah, know yeah. what I mean okay <laughs> you can, you're allowed to say that still <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> all right uh, so drive it I'm gonna feel it yeah like, I actually felt it around here after you I can't make it do it on around. a dead rev though I no? couldn't Get it okay happen. it's got to be in gear and low rpm low like, rpm like 15 okay 100 okay. 1800 light throttle yeah just start and it's a the dash start squeaking and it's that bad <laughs> yeah it's oh. bad you know and all I, right i'm like mm. mitsubishi outlander like 2012 or 2011 you said something like that it was a vin b so b, 2011. 2011 okay all right let's go drive this thing Damn it. Okay, unfortunately, I have to start this. I'm at 9.9 .9 volts showing on the scanner. This might not even start. Okay. Not yet. That's That cranked funny though. Did you hear? It sounded like a compression problem right there. I wasn't listening to it. I'm having an issue with the VCMI. Maybe because battery voltage was so low. Hundred and eighty-eight thousand miles. I want to crank this again. I'm afraid to though, because of how low battery voltage showed me on that last capture. I didn't want to start it until I have everything loaded because I like to look at some cold engine data and I just was not able to because of how low battery voltage showed. Mitsubishi. Oh, he said it was an Outlander. It's an Endeavor. Thank you, automatic ID. Let's do, well, it's a misfire. We can scan all systems. We probably should. Sometimes I hesitate to do that because it takes forever. All right, we'll scan the whole thing. And unfortunately I have the car running already. So my initial engine startup stuff, I like to look at the oxygen sensors and how quickly they warm up and things like that, especially based off of the codes that 
uh, the symptoms that my brother was describing. So I have some U codes here for bus off. When you see bus off codes like this, and that's in all of these modules, um, it can be from low battery voltage. It can also be from, if you remember Caleb, we had a case study where we had a, I forget what it felt, a Hyundai or a Nissan, it was a push button start. It just had uh, the solenoid wire for the starter was off. And when you went to crank it, it wouldn't crank or start. And it had bus off circuit codes because the system expected when you hit the start button for the engine to start and to wake up other systems and it didn't. And, and I don't know if you remember that, we're at Pete's. And it, so I'm not too worried about like this, you know, can timeout and bus off faults. Um, we can clear all those. I have a cylinder one misfire stored in memory. We'll, we'll clear them for Danner. Hey, this guy like, not that it matters for what we're doing, but this has codes in like everything. I think a lot of this is false. Never mind. He just no worries. Yeah, I'm gonna clear these anyway. Oh, why did I do that? That was cancel. Stupid. Now it's too late. Is it? I already cleared the engine. I wanted to see the freeze frame data. Actually, it doesn't matter. I, you, we can make I, it do it. I, I couldn't get a code to set. I had a 301 code. Really? Mm-hmm. I had a 301 code and that was really, really dumb that I just did that. That was stupid. I just wiped out my any freeze frame data well, that I would have. How did you get a 301? That was the I first. Could, that was really? the first thing that was in there. Damn yeah. It, damn it! That's under the freaking intake. Just took number five out. Swapped stuff around. Good scan. Let me do that again. That was really dumb that I cleared that. So when you clear codes, you lose you lose um, your freeze frame data. I don't know why the transmission bus off code didn't clear. I don't like these bus off codes. Display can timeout for the air conditioner. Maybe because I had the engine running. Anti-lock brake, traction control. That's a weird code. Active stability control can timeout not equipped. Yeah, it's either there or not there. Yeah, I saw that one. <laughs> it's either wrong or it's just not there. <laughs> <laughs> know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, misfire. Attacking this without help now. I lost my freeze frame data. Let's see what kind of data list this gives us. I haven't felt any misfires at all. From what my brother was describing, um, it's it felt like multiple cylinders. That's interesting. I'm looking at my short term and long term right here on bank two. And they were counter to each other momentarily. Short term and long term on bank one. You know, they're both really showing that we have a lean condition. Add those together and you got, you know, somewhere between 15 and 20 at times, although it's improving as the engine's warming up. All right, we're bank one sh showing a 20, bank two showing a 20. All right, it's not really improving, it's just changing a lot. I mean, that looks like a vacuum leak. Raise your RPM. Looking at these four data pids right here. improvement there it's still a total trim still pretty lean am I feeling a miss no not really see those trims countering each other now that basically tells you whatever was causing the lean condition is no longer there what else are you guys giving me here? Not a whole lot as far as help with misfire. Let's see what's in the emissions one. I've never seen a data PID say closed loop CL and then it says using O2S. That's what closed loop does. We're using the oxygen sensor. It's kind of cool. Something I've taught forever. What's the difference between open and closed loop? Very simply, 
Open loop, we're not using the oxygen sensor. Closed loop, we are. All right, so this is pretty limited with the powertrain stuff. I don't, I'm not gonna limit this data list because I really just wanna see what's going on in general. This is maybe gonna be more just by feel. I mean, we can keep the fuel trims down here at the bottom. They look pretty good now. All right, let's go drive it. So I, apparently my brother was focused on um, the number five cylinder, and I think he ha I think he actually had the intake off. And that was really annoying. He had the intake off and he moved things around. He might have already replaced the number five coil. I'm not sure. My Danner was being a parts changer. I thought you told me you replaced the number five. Did I? Yeah, you did. Well, that's what that's what happens sometimes when you have a garage with. You know, 20 different cars you've got to work on today and you got to get stuff done and you do some basic checks and you go with your instincts and yeah, that doesn't always work out. The symptoms, he felt like it was torque converter clutch related, which is usually a, like a light throttle. Once the converter clutch locks up, you get like surging. And, and that's really a time when um, you'll feel misfiring on an engine the most would be because that fluid coupling is now locked together and it's one to one and but the way he described it it felt like more than one cylinder so i'm not really sure what he saw before and why he went after the number five i think he said he had a number five code when i was on the phone with him yesterday i had mentioned i wanted to see what the fuel trims were doing during the condition too use that as a guide so that's why I have them pulled up it says bottom four data parameters again engine load and calculated engine load let's look at those two guys on a quick wide open throttle I'm pretty good with that we're over 80 on the engine load one it's what you want to be on a naturally aspirated car I don't know if this has VVT or not a non-VVT, you know, being over 80 is pretty good. The um, calculated engine load, that showed like near 100%, but that's not the more accurate one. The engine load one on this, which would be, I think they call it relative on a global. Anyway, just a quick mass airflow test. It's a, another way of doing it rather than you know, just looking at the O2 at wide open throttle like I've taught for years and years and years, I start using these engine load, calculated load data parameters as a guide. It's like a built-in VE test. I, I didn't think it was related to what we're doing because, did I just feel it there? No. We're not really complaining about low power we're, we're, or trim codes, we're, we're talking about misfire stuff. So I just did it just to do it. What was that? Did you feel that? Yeah. It felt like I was on rumble strips. Yeah, that yeah. that was right when the converter locked up. Just what my brother, right there. Yeah. I need to get somewhere where I can keep it in that, in that, right there. Right there. Oh, that's violent. That doesn't feel like a misfire. That feels mechanical. my trims do during that I missed it you guys might have seen it I did not right there trims are not affected whatsoever by that I don't I don't think this is a misfire man then why did it throw the cylinder five code? that's a good question and why do we have a cylinder one code um, that's a good question. I don't know, but that doesn't feel, that feels transmission. That does actually feel like a converter clutch issue, like a torque converter issue. So when that was doing that, one of the things that I've done in the past to confirm, and I know you guys are probably, it's not showing on the camera. I don't know how we're going to be able to show them this, but when this happens, when I feel the converter lock up and I feel this do it, one of the things I'll do is we can get a shot of my foot, Caleb. Right now, I feel it. 
step on the brake while it's doing it. I, I, I didn't change my foot on the gas. Converter's locked up, step on the brake. That normally will unlock the converter immediately. And it, it's not doing that because I'm watching my tack. So get a shot of the tack now, Caleb. Let's get the converter locked. Right there, it's locked up. Actually, it was before converter lock up. My foot's on the brake. Converter lock up. I feel it. Foot's on the brake. See, it never immediately made the RPM rise. The RPM would rise, then it clutch unlocks. I'm feeling it like as this clutch. Yeah, this this is a converter clutch issue, man. Because when as soon as that clutch unlocks, that goes away. I, I want to watch the fuel trims again. When if you have a misfire that's that severe, that's causing that, you are absolutely going to see it on the fuel trims. And uh, again, bottom four data parameters. You guys keep your eye on that. I'll tell you when it does it. Right when the converter locks up, it's doing it right now. No change, no change at all in my fuel trims. So how do you how do you verify? Well, I mean, back in the day, what we would do is um, there would be a specific plug you could disconnect for the torque converter clutch. And you could unplug that and drive it, and that would keep the converter clutch from locking up. And then you just confirm your symptoms. That you confirm that they were gone. Uh, I, I want to do something like that. Um, I am feeling this when the clutch locks up. And normally, when you hit the brake, it'll immediately unlock the clutch. And I'm not seeing that from RPM uh, perspective. So one foot on the gas and then one on the brake, but this is an electronic throttle body. It may react, the computer may react a little bit differently as far as unlocking the converter clutch. Um, old school systems, the converter clutch unlock was directly wired to the brake switch. Um, it is not probably like that. The brake switch is gonna be an input to a network and then it's gonna uh, base its converter clutch control using that brake switch as one of the many inputs and what I'm saying is with my foot on the gas, computer commanding the TCC to be engaged uh, by me double footing it, I'm kind of doing something that's not normal. You know, computer seeing I'm trying to accelerate and braking at the same time. And so what I'm, what I'm getting at is it may not immediately unlock the clutch like an older car would. And that's what I'm seeing. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing that reaction. But I am absolutely feeling this when the converter clutch is locking up. Like the moment it starts to lock up, I start to feel a chatter and then when it's fully locked, it's like there the whole time, the whole time. And it's not there, I don't feel it. I don't feel it here. Like heavy throttle, all of that, it feels great. I'm gonna pull over and we're gonna see if I can get to get some transmission data here now i don't care that this had a misfire code right now not not from the way that that feels and not that my fuel trims did not change whatsoever during that event we had codes in the transmission too that we couldn't get rid of this bus off code what is that i'm gonna see if i can get rid of that first because i cleared these with the engine running let's clear those let's see if they're gone okay no codes some codes won't clear with the engine running. It, it tells you to do a key on engine off, but many times they'll clear regardless. So I have no codes at the moment. Um, let's see if there is a little, little help on this. No, I don't have a code for that. So looking for some symptom wise on the TCC. Torque converter clutch. So if I'm saying that word TCC, you'll know what I'm talking about. All right, sweet, we have some some data here for it. So I have TCC amount of slippage, TCC control, that data parameter right there. So watch this, this solenoid valve duty cycle. That's when we'll, we'll be able to see when the computer locks this up. As, as long as, if I feel this condition, 
And that TCC valve duty cycle is, see it right there? If I feel this supposed misfire when this TCC solenoid valve duty cycle is off, then I no longer will focus on the TCC. Does that make sense? If it's not being commanded on and I feel the shutter, then we're gonna move away from this. But if it's every single time that this locks up that I feel that, I just gotta get somewhere where I'm, really about 30 miles per hour is what I need to be to make this, there it is. So this this is a, a uh, duty cycle controlled so, uh, TCC, so it's not like an immediate lockup. It, it starts to lock it up. Yes, yeah, just show the amount of slippage, those together. Yep, immediately, immediately. The second that TCC locked up, or the solenoid command was there, duty cycle increased. Real bad, real bad shake, real bad shake. Double foot it, put my foot on the brake. Yeah, that command did not, yep. That command was not immediate like an older car. It's delayed. And the clutch does not immediately unlock whenever I step on the brake. It's momentary, but right where you see those drops in that command is me stepping on the brake. It's just delayed. It's an input. Yeah, dude. This is a transmission problem, for sure. If I'm in the field, if I'm my brother and I'm working on 20 different cars and I'm not a transmission guy, I'm not pulling this transmission apart. It's not what I do. I've uh, never been a transmission guy. I've, I've rebuilt three transmissions in my life and uh, one was a you know a Chevy 350 transmission in my brother's Nova and the other one was my 727 Torque flight and my Dodge uh, Power Wagon, both old school designs. And when did I do those? In school. I haven't rebuilt a transmission since school. Uh, transmission is a specialty. There it is again, doing it again. Second that converter locks up. See the amount of slippage is all over the place too. I think that data parameter kind of gives us an idea of what's going on. I don't know. I think the only thing, the point I was going to make is you move on, you're done. This is a transmission problem. Uh, the misfiring, I don't have an explanation for you on that. Definitely a rough condition that I am feeling. Um, is independent of any misfiring that maybe my brother was attacking. It's very possible that this had a misfire too. We had a cylinder one misfire code. My brother had a cylinder five misfire code. He may have fixed that, the cylinder five. It may have another. No, this is not a misfire. I proved it looking at the fuel traps. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to explain how to handle a job like this as I am, uh, uh, thinking about other possibilities and sometimes that's difficult to convey on the camera to you guys. TCC lockup, major, major surge. I don't feel it as long, there it is. As soon as that locks up. Step on the brake a little bit to unlock it. Perfect, as soon as it unlocks. I don't know what else we'll be able to show. We'll, we'll look at some fluid levels and then we'll um, see if we can find any bulletins, something to help us out a little bit. Let's go under the hood. Let's pull the stick and see what kind of, let's let's check the fluid level and, uh, and see what it looks like. This is idling kind of funny. Dude, this is definitely a TCC issue. Is it? Absolutely. I, I have, I don't have the, I wish I had the recorded data to show you, but I pulled up the TCC percentage. Every single time that TCC locks up, I feel this problem. And it's not misfire. I know I had a misfire code. Yeah. You had a misfire code. Five, man. Yeah, and now five. I, I had a one cylinder one code, but this this is this no question in my mind that this is this is tranny related. Try some Dr. Shutter fix. <laughs> Did you ever see it? I'm gonna use my last one. 
Do you really have a fluid? It's called Dr. Shutter Fix. Yeah. You're, you're not kidding. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I used it. Dude, this needs some Dr. Shutter Fix. That fluid is nasty, man. This needs more than Dr. Shutter Fix. Does it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. And that's on your finger. Uh-huh. That's pretty is it brown. Empty or? No, it, it the level was Let me see. So it is torque converter clutch then, you think? Y yes. Can't see there's cold level, hot levels up in here. Let me stick it one more time. And do I do this in park or neutral? Adjust Adjust at hot. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it's a little bit low. Where's the... The hot mark's right where my finger is. Oh, is it at the end of the hot mark? Yeah. Nice. It's a little bit, but that fluid is like really, really dark and burnt. Yeah. You're talking about rebuild here. When you see, you see fluid that looks like that. It, I mean, you really can't go by smell all that much. It doesn't smell like burnt it has an additive smell to it yeah. um these newer transmissions they all have like and the new tra newer transmission fluids they all have a a gear oil kind of smell to them uh, that is that smells pretty burnt too and i mean just look at the color of that again that's really brown let's get a piece of white paper the white paper test for you guys <laughs> That's not the color that you want transmission fluid to be. It looks gray. Well, I got a Ford out there that doesn't like... start. <laughs> I mean, whatever. I don't know. What else should we do with this? Do you want to? Do you want to go for a ride so I can show you? Or you... I believe you said as soon as the torque converter dude, clutch kicked on, it started doing it. Yep, second it kicks on, and, and then I... whenever you feather and get it out, it shuts off yep. and it quits shuttering. That's yep. what it. That's what it felt like to me originally. I was going to walk away from it, and then I found it history code of a cylinder five so i'm like well well you know unfortunately it wasn't one of the easy ones to get to you know what i mean but yeah. it acted like a ford you know when they would go for sure yeah when they would go into overdrive and it would start misfiring in overdrive we, we can leave all of this part out like I, yeah. the fact that we changed the coil and there was a misfire code and all that if you I, i'd rather just not talk no, i don't about care it. whatever I, I yeah i don't care i don't you know what i mean like yeah. I, I feel bad for you uh, i just feel like I don't feel like the misfire that we have is related either. Like it may had a misfire too, but th that's, this is absolutely a transmission problem that I'm feeling. Why do we have a cylinder one misfire though too? You know, when I clear the codes, why do you have a cylinder five? You said you could make, you could do it with a brake torque. You, no, you, I, you couldn't do it. I was it. never able to get the misfire. I had to be moving and it felt like I had to be in when the torque converter clutch would kick in so and do we RPMs wanna, were low. Do we want to talk about why we don't want to be parts changers? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Or, or do we want to leave that part out? <laughs> No, I mean, because you're in, the, you're in no, but you're in this one like for the, for a little bit of money and time, yeah. and that's not a hard intake to take off. But no. you were back at the number five, yeah, and you did that based off of the code. That's all, because I couldn't see any misfire data. You know, so. humble man. I ain't gonna lie, I, I changed parts. I ain't him. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> well, that's what I was saying when we were test driving this. You know, I'm, but see, like, the, here's the deal though. The dude bought me a pizza because I was looking at the car. So yeah. when he called me the other day, <laughs> I'm like, I think I just swapped you an ignition coil for a pizza. And he's yeah. like, no, no, I'm paying you for whatever you did. I'm like, no, I said, I, I had nothing to go with. Yeah. I said, it's either in the tranny or it's a misfire. And I had a number five code, I chased it. Yeah. You know? And it yeah. didn't. Yeah. It felt worse after I did the coil. Yeah, uh, you know. So and we have a number one one now too, which sucks. But I, I just I didn't feel any misfires. This is tranny related, and I think it's pretty cool that we can still use this. Use it. Yeah, just, <laughs> just, just but, put uh, a I mean, label right here, like saying, parts changer. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying on the test drive though, I was to the community like you have twenty different cars that are coming coming in the door and people breathing down your neck all day long and this is the way it goes and some people know that like i always say don't be a parts changer and i get all these i'm a parts changer i'm a parts 
You hey, do. the coil was 60 bucks. Yeah. Honestly, I was gonna pull number five, put it up in number two, yeah. swap the plug and the coil, put the intake back down, but the coil was not readily available. So when I called, I was like, yeah, just get it. And then by the time I had it apart, I had a coil, I'm like, screw it, let's just put it in number five, that see what happens. Sense. Yep. You know, and yeah. that, unfortunately, I don't have the kind of time you have sometimes to go as deep, you know, and I- And we only, to be clear, we only have that time because the, the community gave me on the freaking jump timing belt one that I beat a dead horse with that one. I thought it was a great video, but like, not the community. Yeah. It, one out of a thousand, yeah. but that voice is always the loudest in your head, you know, like. Well, where you took it off and put it together and. No, yeah. just the, how long it took us before we got to that point. Well, we were teaching and I was just gonna back that up with what Caleb and I do and why we have so much time is the camera pays us. I'm not getting paid to troubleshoot. I'm getting paid to produce a good video and learn from. Yeah, so that's true. That's, and what, then that's a whole different learn, approach learn, to what you have. You learn from mistakes. Yes. You learn from abstract testing that had nothing to do with it. You're still, yeah. it's a thought process and it might help yeah. you in a different vehicle. Yeah. So it, for what you do, that's it's good. And, and I could care less if you throw me under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just trying to figure out how to Man, salvage this video. You don't have to. But I don't know how else to prove it to the community that this is definitely a torque converter clutch problem and I'm walking away from it. I, I don't rebuild transmissions. I'm certainly not gonna say- But there's no way to do like- a, 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 Hydraulic tests, things no, like that. that. Like, no, I mean like there's no way to, yeah, I, I don't know. Oh, that was something else. I pulled up fuel trim data exactly when that moment occurs, no change whatsoever in fuel trim. Okay, so, so if there's no it's not, there's no misfire correct. or a lean condition, yep. which you would see. Absolutely you would. Okay. And it doesn't matter what kind of misfire, you're gonna see it on your fuel trim data, unless the computer goes out of closed loop and goes to open loop and ignores it, no shift whatsoever. The, the whole time, like- Yeah, because you asked me to try to do that, I never got a chance, yeah. so. Yep. No shift. No, and that's fine. I'm fine with that. Yeah. I'll, you know, yeah. and the guy's fine with it too. He just, this cool. is like a third car. I'm going to get a tube of the Dr. Shutter fix. Heck right yeah, let's there. put some Dr. Well, Shutter fix it's, in it. It's coming. I'm going to ship it and I'll let you know what is happens. It, is it coming like now? Like, it just depends if they have a driver. I ordered two tubes. It's literally called Dr. Shutter fix. Yeah. That's awesome. Or it might be Dr. Tranny fix. I don't know. It's something like that. It's All right. Like, no, obviously, guys, we're not doing this and not, not telling the customer and trying to cheat the no, customer. No, That's what, what I'm going to tell them is I'm pretty sure you have a tranny issue. I don't do transmissions. You got 180 some thousand miles. This needs miles. a rebuild. It's in my you opinion. Know, it's yep. it's going to be cost prohibitive probably to even do. So run it to the ground. Yep. You know, and put some doctor Dr. Shutter, Shutter fix. fix. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. No, 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 no. We, we definitely, you definitely got to go further than this because see it is instant shutter fix oh. so if you guys put it in and go test drive and it doesn't work then you can either debunk it or say huh right <laughs> instant shutter fix. instant shutter fix right. Who I, feel makes like, it? I don't know i feel like this should be an infomercial now lube guard instant did you say shutter it was a little fix. low it need, was a little low. Do you need some tranny fluid well, too? Well, the tranny fluid in this, it, it's specific Mitsubishi fluid I that- ha SP3, I probably have it. Nice. Diamond ATF SP2M. Is that your Mitsu fluid? Mitsu. Dude, how old is that? It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's, all right, well, that's, that's cool. That's cool. We can, we can get a good comparison now of what it should look like. Yeah, that's way different. Yeah, this is a little bit uh, more orange of a fluid than, than I'm, what I'm used to looking at when it's new. I don't think this is gonna fix it. <laughs> it's instant shutter fix. <laughs> instant, <laughs> instant shutter fix, huh? Is this too big? No, that'd be, that'd... No, that'd be all right. It's down there. Why don't we get the, the light? Because we don't need it. What the heck was that, man? Okay, instant shutter fix. <laughs> watch it. Watch it work. I don't. That would be awesome. So we're the customer's good with what we're doing, yes? Yeah, because I ain't, I'm not charging him nothing, and he's gonna he's gonna uh, um, fight me on that. So I might tell him to just give me my parts I have involved with it, just to cover my time. Yeah, for sure. But I, got a knife. A I don't have my knife on me. I did I, get a good pizza out of the deal. <laughs> this is gonna like squirt everywhere. It's like super. There's fluid on that. Okay. 
Okay, so the fluid that I'm putting in is really gonna be more to just kind of rinse what I just put in down the funnel. I'm not gonna use much. We weren't that low, just a little bit. So all right, let's go drive it. Oh, there's the That's shutter. Back. I can't, I can't uh, say that that didn't work yet. We want the fluid to get throughout the whole system first. It's still there. Pretty, pretty badly. Dude, it's better though. It is better. It's a lot better. Right. It actually is. Is that a lot, a yeah. Right it, it's doing it a little bit right now. I can feel it, but I don't feel it right now. Not the converter is locked up. That's awesome. I don't really feel it, dude. That's pretty impressive. Shutter fix. <laughs> shutter, <laughs> shutter fix. It is. I, I definitely could feel it when it first locked up, but it wasn't the same kind of violent event. No, for sure. Right there, we're locked up. I don't even, okay, right there, I it's there. there. I still feel it, but it's vastly different. You're gonna see this in the data. With this locked up, look how, how, how much smoother the variations are in the amount of slippage. Oh, it's awesome. Shutter fix for the win. <laughs> the other cool thing is that just proves my diagnosis which is this was a tcc issue this was not a misfire yeah. now, i know it had a misfire code i don't care about the misfire code the customer's complaint was this issue with the converter clutch could it have caused false misfire codes i think absolutely it could have given long enough period of time with it shaking like that converter locked up no shutter don't be a parts changer. Use shutter fix. <laughs> oh, dude. Is it, is it? Yeah, it was locked up right there. No shutter whatsoever. I didn't even, I feel like normally I can initially feel it, but it, know, to me it just felt like a bump. Well, the first, there, it's back in right now. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. bit right there. It's not, listen, here's the thing, guys. It's not fixed. <laughs> All we've done is is put a Band-Aid on a wound. How, how long it lasts like this, who knows? Is it, is it possible that, that he could do a fluid flush and, and all of that and, and maybe help with this problem? Maybe, but sometimes when fluid's that badly colored, you can do worse things to the transmission by changing it because you don't get all the fluids out and there's a heavy varnish buildup in the transmission and you put all this high detergent fluid back in and then you just cause problems as it breaks down the varnish with the new fluid. So uh, you wouldn't want to change the transmission fluid when it looks like this. 188,000 miles when it's like that color transmission fluid. All right, we're locked up right now. Let me see. And it's just, I can really barely feel that. So you can see on that graph right there, like is it's this, perfect. Is this where it's locked up? This is where it's locked up to the right. Okay, what's on the left? That's the uh, slippage with, with the converter clutch. You're gonna see that after. Okay. We're gonna pull that image up right there, after, the before and after. It's locked up right now. I don't even feel it. I, I can't believe that that worked. I'm shocked, like just absolutely shocked. We should sit on this video and send it to the company and ask them to sponsor it and pay us to produce it. Dude, that'd be awesome. We should do that. <laughs> no, because then you gotta disclose it. So what? <laughs> so what? Are you kidding me? Like if you're a company and you make a fluid like this and it actually does what it's advertised to do, it clearly did. Yeah. I'm. I'm shocked. All right, felt, I felt a little bit right there on that one. I'm gonna go down the road and then back up. Like it's not 100%, but it is literally 
99% gone. How long will it last is the question. There is no fix it in a can. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't, none of us true technicians believe in the, the, you know, mechanic in a bottle. But in this situation, like it just locked up right there. I didn't feel that in the least bit. And looking at the data for the RPM slippage, the big spike at the end was just a gear shift change. So when it shifts gears, you'll see a jump in that. 20, no lock up yet. Lock up now. I didn't Little, wait, oh, right there. Did you feel that shutter? No. It's, it's still there. But it's, it's still, it's, locked, up. it's it's still locked up. No, it's it was, very, very it was just a little bit. I think the more that this gets driven, the better it's going to get too. Mm -hmm. It's not a hundred percent fixed. I wouldn't say hey, this is fixed, but this is a absolutely a viable option on a car with 180 freaking thousand miles on it. Rather than rebuilding. Yeah. Like, is it even worth it's that not, time and money? Not yet. Dude, Caleb's like, we should produce this video, finish it put it together and write the company and say, we'll sell this to you for X amount of dollars. It's, I, I'm shocked. Really? I, <laughs> it worked. Instant. Uh, it worked. I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, stuck. I'm sorry. No, I, I mean, it's not 100%. It's like 99% better. Like just pulling up the hill right here, I had a little bit of a shutter. Dude, it's like night and day. It's like, it's, it's, like almost to a point so where I'm a tranny change and another tube of Dr. Tranny flush. Yeah, flip, no, flip, but I was just, we were just talking about that. Shutter like fix. the fluid's so dark. I, know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend changing the fluid on this. I am with you. I think you count your blessings with Dr. Shutter fix. That's not what it's called. <laughs> it's instant. It used to be Dr. Shutter fix. Was it? And then same company. I don't know. Then they changed it to instant shutter See, fix. I, but we it, might it, be talking about two different companies and then I can't sell this to the company now. Well, <laughs> I, think this is, I think this is a great commercial for this, co it's this the company. Same tube. It was the same tube. Dude, it's ridiculous. Really? I, yeah. There is no mechanic in a can. That's what that was. Yeah, know, it's, <laughs> it's like freaking snake oil, dude, man. But dude. It, Dude, I mean, it's it's night and day different. Really? Like the customer is going to be really happy about this. Nice. Yeah. So I can at least charge him for a tube. Well, that's that's instant shutter fix. Well, that's uh, that's what I said. Uh, you, well, he yeah. can edit it. I'm saying doctor, but you could go instant. Like here, I'll give me give you a <clears throat> instant. So <laughs> use that every time I say doctor. You know, like you see on TV whenever they have the same ad from 1980 and then they change the price and it's like, it's only five, but it's like $900. Oh, like, wait, yeah. he just said five. That was you with your bleep that Caleb used a few times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bleep. Do we want to even, I mean, talk about the misfires anymore? You think they're a false? I, I, you know, I, I don't know that it's- Could a car shutter in that bad cause a misfire well, code? Well, it could, I guess, but I don't know. Yeah say yeah fixed <laughs> but he had this problem before his check engine light came on right check was, engine light never came on okay but the light was on for me it was when i for, as soon as i got in the in the vehicle the light was on so did you have the un number one coil unplugged or something maybe when you were doing some work because i had it was a, a specific misfire not a for, coil no, for number one code? not a coil circuit code. And the light was on so number one and the light was on it was never on for Okay, me. so that, that helps us really with this whole job is- Because I asked him, did the check engine light ever flash? He's like, nope. Okay, so we're not even worried about the check engine light. We're yeah. not worried about the misfire codes. This yeah. was a shutter the whole time as far as all of that goes for the customer. And uh, he's gonna be a lot happier. And Danner, don't be a parts changer. <laughs> <laughs> when you guys post that video with what? the- <laughs> with Doctor- <laughs> I, I messaged them yesterday, I emailed them yesterday, asked if they'd sponsor it. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, they didn't reply. No. No. But well, what, they got to look at it yeah. first. Did you So wait, hold on, yet? time out. A cut in your, this I've, is to add, to add to the, the Dr. Instant. Tranny uh, fix or Dr. what? Instant Try. shutter fix. Instant shutter fix. To add to that, Danner, tell us how the customer's car is. Oh, he's loving it. He's like, he even paid Can me for- Can you see for, him? 
He okay, he nice. even paid me for the coil and the labor to do the coil, and I'm like, he was that know, happy. I'm like, I'm like, he paid yeah, you I, for your parts changing uh, ways. He did. <laughs> That's awesome. You know, and he's he, he no he issues. Drove, and he he waited. He drove it all weekend. Texted me. He's like, everything's great. And then he came by a week later. He's like, it's still great. So when you do post it, send me the link because I'm gonna give it to him. He wants to watch oh, his sweet. own video. Okay. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> all right. So we're adding this. We're, this is a follow up for like weeks later on that car and he's yeah. had no issues no, at all. Hey, they're happy. Yeah, that's I'm awesome. shocked. I'm, I'm working shocked. on that video right <laughs> now. I asked the company if they'd sponsor the video, so hopefully they'll get back to me. We're gonna post it anyway. put an ad on it, you something. know what I mean? Yeah. Well, the ads will be there, but I want yeah. some money. If they do, I'll give you half of it. <laughs>